Right, now all the step nine work's done, it's time to work on step 10. Step 10 is just basically the roll cage um, and the tire and the dashboard. So you've got A11 and A12 for the left and right side of the roll cage. You've got uh, A6, which is the roof. And then you've got A5, which is the X cross member beam that goes in between A10 and A11. So I've done all that work on the sprue. Um, I spray painted it white on top of the grey primer and then just picked out some of the detailing. So you've got the two side panels there in black. You've got the cross members in the anthracite. On number 10, you've got again black anthracite and it tells you to paint, paint that in the red. So I've done that. Then you've got A6, which is the roof part of it. That's all black. You've got red there. And then you've got the A5 cross member piece, which is like an X star shape piece sort of thing. And uh, I've just picked out that there, which tells you to paint it in the grey, which is the 36157. So now all that work's done. Um, I can now put all this onto the interior chassis. Right, welcome back. I've now started work actually mounting all the bits that I painted in step 10. You know, the um, roll cage, um, the dashboard from step 9. So here's what I've done so far. Now I've got A11 and A12. I've mounted those in. Those go into a couple of holes there. There's one there. There's a pin on the bottom of the uh, roll cage. So you put that in the hole there, that in the hole there. And then what you do is once you put them in, you've got to line the triangular part of this cross member of the roll cage into that little square hole there. I had to sand down the tab a bit to get it in, but I got there in the end. So then I started on the other side, did the same, lining the pin holes from the roll cage into the holes of the uh, chassis. I had to widen them slightly, obviously. And then lining it up with that square piece there. Once I'd got them in, I then did the what was what was that number A5 the cross member. Now that locks into place on the corner there. And where else does it lock into? Into the cross beam there, on the corner there. So you have to line those up. Then you've got to do the same for that. That there and that there, you have to get the tweezers and uh, line it up. And these two pieces are loose because I think they were for the roof. So that's that sorted. Once those are dry, I then got the completed dashboard from step 9. I glued on the steering wheel, the steering wheel assembly on into the little hole there, as it says on the plans. And then basically you just run a bit of glue there. There's a little tab there that secures that into place on that side. And on this side, again, just put it to the tab and then just bring it forward slightly so it locks into place with the glue. And that's the first bit of the roll cage done. Now, one of the reasons I ain't put the roof on yet, because the roof on the bottom part of step 10, you've got this clear part which is C4, which has to be masked using the kit supplied masks, much like on the Mitsubishi. So I've removed the one side off the kit supplied mask. You can see the other side there. So I put the uh, masks on, went round with the Future, and then just spray painted that in the Halfords gloss black. But the only trouble is, like I said, the reason I didn't put the roof in, because this is going to sit in there, like that. And if you see those two little um, half circle holes, that's where they mount into. I've got a feeling if I put the roof on, I'm not going to be able to get that on. So that's what I've got to do next. But it's looking good so far. Right, I've now uh, finished off the roll cage. First thing I did, remember that C4 from the previous update, the clear part that I'd used the kit supply of masks on. So I took the one off the front and the one off the rear. And that's looking really nice. And again, the mask has done its job with the bit of future. So that glues into a little semicircle hole there and a little semicircle hole there. And then it rests on top of the, the side part of the roll cage there and there. 
Um, I only need to put a little bit of glue there. I just left that free on when it rests on there. Then came the roll cage, which is A6. Now, I had to line up some pins from the top and the side. Because if you remember those two um, upright pieces from the uh, cross beam, which is A5. So what I had to do is I had to line it up on the cross beam on the bottom of there and then a hole in the side of the roll cage there. There's one there as well. I had to widen the hole slightly to get them in, but I've, it's not 100%. There's a tiny bit of a gap, but I'm not, I can't do any more with that. I had to widen the hole slightly where it connects there, just in front of that uh, black screen. So that's one there and that's one there. Once I'd lined them up, I put a drop of glue in the hole. Now you've got this bit here. I might be stuff turning the flash on so you can see that. There we go. So you've got a little groove there on the side of the um, the top edges of the both sides of the roll cage. So I just put a bit of super glue in. Like it's like a like an interlocking L shape. So I just put a bit of super glue in there in my cocktail stick. Uh, put it on there, let that dry for a few seconds, and then pushed it in on this side so that lines up. Left that for about a minute to dry both sides. And then I, it was just a case of getting these um, side beams here. I had to put a drop of glue there and a drop of glue there to connect them to the uh, dashboard. So that's the roll cage done. Now you've got the two side door panels, which is B27 and B28 respectively. I had to paint those in the white, so I spray painted it in the white on top of the gray primer and then just got a bit, a bit of masking tape. You probably saw it in one of the previous updates. Just put a bit of masking tape all the way around, painted that section in the black and that one there, took the masking tape off and then painted the top part in the uh, 36157 gray on that little top part on there, both sides and the door handle. And those are now ready to be uh, put in the sides. On this one, I've had to hold, widen the hole slightly. On that one, I haven't bothered yet. I'm just about to do it. So that's the interior roll cage done. Right, the last bit of work on step 10, which is those doors which would be B27 and B28, as I explained in the previous update, where I'd spray painted it white, painted the black and the grey on. So I widened the holes, because there's actually four holes. There's uh, one there, one there, uh, one there, and one there. So I just got the tip of my file, my rounded tipped file, and just uh, twisted and twisted and twisted. And then I just got my one of my grinding bits and just like went in the hole and twisted and twisted in that to make the hole slightly bigger. And then I just put, as you can see by my glue marks on my old bit of corner of the old uh, cutting mat that I kept. I just uh, went on with a cocktail stick and put a bit of drop of glue in each of the holes and just pulled it like done that. And just push them into each hole and when I'd widen them they was perfect. And that's the only way I've glued it on is just those holes. So you've got the one there. And the other one on this side. And then they've, you could, I don't know if you can, you probably can't make it out to be honest unless I switch the uh, flash on. And just make out the door pattern there. And on that side there. I'm quite, I'm really well chuffed on how the super glue just in the holes has held them two side panels on. So that's step 10 complete. Right, now um, step 10's done. It's time for step 11, which is basically the clear pieces for the windscreen, the side windows, and the rear screen. That's what it's telling you to go use the masks. But. Unlike the Mitsubishi, the, the window parts come in two parts. You've got the one part for the side and the front screen. And you've got a separate part for the rear screen. Using the kit supplied masks. I've masked them off. I painted them in the black. Um, it took me four coats to get it right. So all I've got to do now is just uh, take these masks off.
Right, taking the masking tape and the kit supplied masks off, and you can see that the lines are really, really crisp. I've got a little touch of paint bleed here and here, but that's okay, it doesn't matter. But the rest of the what I've masked off is worked out an absolute treat. And then you've got the rear screen as well, that's perfect. So these are now ready to be mounted into the uh, body shell. All right, as you can see, I've done a little bit of work on the Corolla. So carrying on with step 11, as you know, I'd already masked and painted off the clear parts. I've got some of the mesh out of my metal mesh instead of using the kit supplied cough mesh. I've measured it out to those, the A, B and the C, and I've trimmed it slightly as well. So I've done those two and done the main one that goes on the top of the bonnet there. So that's them three there. Painted those in the black. I've also done this bumper part as well, which is A14. Sprayed it in the white primer because you're not really going to see it anyway. And it's telling me I've got to paint it in part X6 and part XF57, which is that brownie orange, the 36185. So going to that little part, got my detailing brush. Painted all that, took two coats, so that's that ready. I've also gone on to step 12 and painted this little engine block. And uh, I've picked out those colours, so it's mainly black. Switch the flash on. So it's mainly just the black, um, aluminium, a little bit of red here and there, and a bit of blue. So that's all that sorted, because it says on there you've got to paint it in the various colours. Turning the plans round, I've also uh, spray painted the um, the main body shell now, as you can see by the lovely sheen. Spray painted it in the grey primer, let that dry. Spray painted it in the Halfords white primer, let that dry. And then I went over with the Tamiya TS26 Pure White, which is like a gloss sheen. So I just went over, give it a good once over, round the sides. And on the top and round the back let that dry for a couple of hours and then I just uh, went over with another coat and it's dry perfect and like I said you can see that sheen but now it's telling me I've got a mask off and paint around the windscreen and around the window ceiling black the rubber ceiling so with my masking tape, and my one with masking tape, combined with my Tamiya Curve Tape around that little edge there, I put all the tape down. It took me about 40 minutes to get all this down, so you've got the one side here. Around the front windscreen area and up to the uh, hood scoop. And down the other side. And then round there as you can see and a little bit of turf, Tamiya Curve Tape to go around that little curve there. So I've just got to wait for this to settle and then I'm going to uh, seal it with the Pledge Future. And last but not least you've got this front deep grill work and the bonnet pins. As it says on the plans you've got to paint the bonnet pins in the X11 which is the silver and you've got to paint those grills there in the black originally i was going to drill bore these out but to be honest i haven't got a um a fire a grinding bit that fine to get in there so i just went in with my fine detailing brush painted them grills in the black i don't know if you can make out the grill pattern i don't know and uh, and then just once i painted it in the black let that dry and then just went round with the mat 34 which is white and just uh, tidied it up a bit. I've just got to gloss those bits. But that's not looking too bad. So that's where I'm sitting at the moment.